Jack, let's let's talk let's talk um, 2020. Let's talk. Uh, you're a senior at Ohio University. First off, tell me your journey to start to Ohio University. We got you on the uh, we got you on the YouTube live. People are gonna be able to watch this however they want to, man. So um, yep. tell me about the start of your journey. You're a one-time state champion in Ohio, correct? Yep, one-time state champ. I actually just got done. I just got back from working out with Coach Pine today. So he said what he wanted me to say hi. So you're back. Are you you're in Uniontown right now? Yeah, I'm back home. Okay, so you're not even in Athens right now. No. Okay, and I know that's just tough, but yeah, yeah. And it's like you just can't shut it off right now because it's like this. Like I think we all want to believe it can still happen. I think the Ohio State yeah, tournament yeah. people want to believe it can still happen, but mm. they canceled yours. You're a fifth year guy. Tell me about where your journey began. Uh, I mean, where it began. You said. Yeah, where it began. Um, I mean, it's been a long road with Eastern and everything. Uh, we went there, there to wrestle for Boyard out of high school and um, had a hell of a time there. I got a lot better, made nationals that third year, and then uh, getting dropped there and uh, after right after nationals at my third year. And then uh, from there, just find my way to OU th through my buddy Kyle Kaminsky and Greenlee and um, – yeah, it's it's been a long road. It's it's kind of crazy. It's pretty wild. Like everything that's happened at this point. For you and Andrew McNally, your high school teammates. First off, was he at practice today? Uh, we wasn't. I wouldn't call it a practice. It was more of a. Talk well, you guys are working lift. out. Yeah, it was more of a talk and lift than a practice. Gotcha. <laughs> was he there? Uh, no, McNally wasn't there. Yeah, and he he went up to Kent. You went down to Ohio U. You were yep. teammates for one or two years at, at Eastern Michigan. Uh, two years at Eastern. Two years at Eastern, and then in high school, three years. Uh, all four years. In high all school, four. Yeah. So you guys are saying? Uh, no, it would have been three. You guys gonna say he's a year younger than you, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when you look at that, you know, you and him, ultimate gut punches for you. I guess the right. silver lining for him is he's got another year. Right. But for right. you, man, I mean, this is just like this is double gut punch year after year, man. How do you how do yeah. you deal with this? And what are you and Coach Klein? What are you and your dad? What's everybody talking to you about? Greenlee, everybody you're talking to, Bullard, whoever you're talking to, what are you guys talking about? Um, I don't know. A lot of it's just like kind of processing everything. Still, honestly, um, like it like for me and Coach Klein, it's more so just talking about um, talking through everything, and then like talking about what to do next and how. Because, well, for me, too, it's weird, too, because, like, with school and everything, like, so my focus after this season, regardless of how it ended, was going to be on the getting my teaching license. I was going to student teach in the fall. I had hours um, to get in after the season. And uh, so that stuff's obviously off right now. So I can't – I'm not even, go, like, kind of able to shift my focus from, like – I was planning on shifting focus from wrestling to, like, making sure I finish up school all right. And so it's – I can't even really shift my focus there because I don't have like the, I don't know what's going on with how to finish the semester with all of the hours and stuff. So um, it's really weird. Like I, I, it's I don't know what to kind of just add. A, yeah, I don't know. It's just a, I don't really have anything to like do, and it's like if that makes sense. And it's just I haven't had that in the longest time, and I did, yeah, it's weird. Joel was sitting in his office yesterday when I talked to him. And he's like, I was like, hey, when can we talk? He goes, whenever you want, because I don't really have a lot to do. He goes, I don't have any guys to train. I yeah. just don't have a lot to do. Jim Anderson, I don't have a lot to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. As far as the work, and, you know, the guys still, they're involved with their families, right? John Stutzman was picking his kid up. You know, mm. all these guys I'm going to talk to. I'm going to talk to Josh Moore today. I'm going to talk to Colin Moore today. You, Evan Cheek tomorrow. You yeah. know, and I just, I, my thing is like, you guys have never been in this situation, and you literally just said it. You didn't even have words to describe it. I just don't have anything to do, slash I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Because there's a lot of people. Everybody's right. in your Everybody's in your, yeah, is in your shoes, too. Yeah, for sure. That's what, I, that's what um, something Coach Klein had said to me uh, the last couple of days, too, was like um, just it, there's so many people that are like, that are affected by this like overall but just in in the same sense of wrestling like there's so many people that uh, are going through this and like you said they're just trying to figure out every, like in their own way you know 
you, you know, you're going to try and student teach. Is there a chance that you could sell? I don't even know, like with the educational system, because every college mm -hmm. is affected by it. Mm -hmm. um, you can't be in a position to get a job next year, next fall, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you're not going to be able to teach. You're not going to be able to get the license. Could you mm -hmm. graduate? I mean, we don't even know. What are they going to do in May? I mean, yeah, you're not going to yeah. be able to walk. Well, what are you going to do? I'm, I'd be on track to do my full-time student teaching in the fall. Um, but I really, I, I don't know. Like, that's like I was saying. It's, it's more so it's like, um, even before all this, it was like, okay, wrestling, shift my focus, wrestling, getting my teaching license. And, and now I don't even know how this semester is going to shake out, let alone next semester. So it's like, um, one thing I kind of joked about with, um, who was I joking about it with? Uh, Hillman was making fun of me. He's like, Zach, online, Derek Hillman, uh, my old teammate at Easter was joking with me. He said, uh, online student teaching should be fun. And I was like, <laughs> Derek, relax. Like, I was like, relax. One shit show at a time. I can't think that far ahead. <laughs> Dude, you're right, though, because, like, for this next three weeks, I got to go in on Monday, and we have to make plans. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, and then my wife, she's at Solon High School. They have kind of a similar thing going on. Mm -hmm. But like, how do we deliver instruction to kids? Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and here's what I will say. A lot of schools have the, a week of this actual three weeks is mm -hmm. most school spring breaks in high school right now in yep. Ohio. Yeah. So like, there's kind of that going, but then for right. that other two weeks, we're in uncharted water for yeah, this, yeah, yeah. right? This is unprecedented. As I was talking to Andresi yesterday, mm -hmm. they have never canceled the NCAA basketball. They played the NCAA basketball through World War II. I, I saw you saying that. that that's, that's insane. insane. That's that's crazy. Yeah. Dude, World War II was like, <laughs> it's the yeah. biggest global conflict ever. And, yeah. we, and we played the NCAs through it. Right? <laughs> right. And, and think about it. We actually got attacked in World War II. Yeah. We're at Pearl Harbor. Like, that's how it brought yeah. us into it. So this whole thing is so wild because there's not yeah. an enemy attacking. Like 9-11, an enemy was attacking, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah, Pearl yeah, Harbor. Yeah. There's not actually like war, but mm. you know, it's a pandemic. It's global. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, and it's, it's like, just, but it's not you. You're not the guy yeah. who's going to get coronavirus and die. Right. It's no, my I'm, dad who's 70. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't even think your dad's old enough to be in like the, the target <laughs> age. Your dad's like 50, well, maybe. Right? <laughs> not to. Not to come in my uncle's neck, but I my joke the last couple of days is because my uncle travels with my dad all the time for wrestling stuff. Um, my uncle's been smoking for a long time, and everybody's always like, "Oh, it's respiratory problems in old people." And I was like, Shh. "I was like my joke with my dad before NCAs was canceled. I was like, Dad, don't tell John not to come." <laughs> I was like, "He's been smoking forever. Don't tell him not to come." Yeah, you like, can't, can't. No, yeah, he's one of the persons at risk. It's a respiratory yeah. illness. Dude, it's so crazy. Yeah, because we're yeah. trying to get my dad back to Florida now, and it's 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 a whole ordeal. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, back to your lifetime of this, man. I've been watching you since you're a little kid at all the OEC stuff and seeing your dad. He's super passionate about it, slash a little crazy, oh, yeah. right? But, you know, your dad loves wrestling. He loves you. Oh, yeah. and, and and you guys are, you know, Coach Mattingly's a great guy. Coach Klein's a great guy. Obviously, Dave Boyard's a great guy. All these guys. I love Joel Greenlee, right? Oh, and, you know, these guys are just, they're different guys and they're, they're great mentors and they're good guys who I would, I would let my kids get coached by those guys. I right. like those guys. Right. I don't think they'll be around coaching then. <laughs> I think they'll be full retired, but right. you've had all these great people in your life. Um, you know, what's, how do you handle it from here on out? You know, this is your senior year. You're the mm -hmm. first senior I've talked to. Hopefully right. Colin Moore, I get to talk to him next, but mm -hmm. what do you do and how do you look back and how do you reflect on wrestling and your career now? Um, I think for now, it's just like, like I was saying, processing everything, I think it's just staying close to the people that I'm close with and like my talking with my family and my friends and just kind of working through everything in my own way and, uh, reflecting. It's just like, to be honest, um, I probably had my lowest point at, after max this year, to be honest with you. I, I wrestled really well the first day and I honestly didn't even wrestle, um, that bad the second day, but, uh, just it was a lot of good guys at 157 in the MAC, and I lost. I did an ex, uh, what Hillman called was the uh, super slide. I went from the semis to seventh, and that was one of the hardest things on me mentally, emotionally, that I've ever had to deal with. Um, so it's like reflecting on that, and then I kind of um, the way I described it was it took me until about Tuesday to work through that um, just to get ready to like get my mind right to be at, be at nationals. Um, 
and then this whole thing happened and it's um and it's almost like not that i want to say it's not as bad but it's more it's harder to process being done than it is to process um just like okay i screwed up this that and i need to fix this that and now it's just um i don't know it's weird i i don't i i i think the best thing for me reflecting on everything though is i um put on my instagram yesterday is like i don't really know how to describe anything but i just wanted to like thank everyone like i have so many great people in my life right now and uh i've had so many great coaches like you said great teammates and um it's just gratitude and and especially after eastern i said it um i said it after eastern got dropped the next year is it's like my the gratitude that i had to be able to compete was like way higher than it had ever been because i had a ton of teammates who like might have been great at like we're good out of high school might not have had the results that they wanted but who could have been good but they just would, wouldn't have the right money or whatever or right major whatever it might be to wrestle again and so um i'm really just happy for the time i had honestly and it sucks that i couldn't finish it out though like uh going out on my shield however it might have been but uh, i'm grat- i'm grateful to be able to do it for as long as i did to be honest Okay, so there's talk that they're going to grant additional eligibility to the spring athletes. And this is something where this is more thought, and this is more soul searching, this is more I don't know what to do. Yeah. What, do, you right. know, do you hold out hope? Do you what what do you could even come back for that? What what do you do? Where are you at with that? And and what what's been communicated to you by whether it's athletic administration at Ohio University, Joel Greenlee, Colt sponsor, well, whoever thought- it is, right? I talked to Joel. Um, actually, I went in to grab some stuff from the locker room yesterday. Um, I talked to him right after you had talked to him, actually. Um, and I thought he made a good point with all that. Is there's just so much to unpack um, with giving guys another year. And, and not that it's wrong or right or this or that, but there's whether it's scholarships, um, guys that are supposed to be in the lineup next year that we're going to take my spot, whatever it might be, there's a whole lot to unpack. And I like. I, it's so raw right now. I I don't know what I would do in that situation, um, to be honest, because uh, it's like physically, physically I don't know. But I mean, I could. But it that's um, I guess that goes back to my other thing that I like kind of like to say. Are you still there? I'm here. I'm 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 okay. just, I'm, mes- I'm I, dude. I'm I'm listening. <laughs> My video, my video is weird. No, I'm you're good. I, I've um, been good the whole time. But what, what, what do you say? Um, it's one like one shit show at a time. Like, cause like I said, I got to figure out how to um finish my degree and whatever that's gonna entail. And um, second semester comes around next year, and I have that opportunity. That's more so something I decide then, cause I the way everything's gone, um, I, I had no idea what I would do I, as of. I, I just physically, mentally, um, that's a whole lot, and I have no idea, to be honest. Teaching interview question. You ready? Oh, boy. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? That's a question they'll ask you. You know, I got asked a lot of the yes. interviews. That, where do you see yourself now? The, does this really change the trajectory of your life? It really doesn't at all. Um I want to be around the sport of wrestling, um, whether that's teaching and coaching in high school or coaching in college. Um, I'm open to both. And uh, I'd lo- I just and, – and like you said, you talked about um, how many – like the great coaches like – and I talk about this with Coach Klein quite a bit because he's kind of um, – I don't want to say mentor because it's almost not personal enough, but um, – Like a second father. Yeah, basically. That guy's um, the man. Yeah. And uh, something we have talked about a lot is because he knows how much I like to want to coach and um, just about coaching in general. And something he says all the time is it's just it's more so about relationships um, than it is anything else. And but that's kind of and I, that's what I love about the sport and um, just the relationships that you build within it and um, teaching, coaching. Um, I think that's just something I really believe. Like, I just want to help people like whether not just wrestling wise, but be better people. So that's kind of how I see it. What's your license in? Uh, I'll be integrated social studies. Dude, what, hey, what competition? Uh, what competition? Are you seven through 12? Yeah. Seven through 12. Okay. That's the license I have. And, uh, yeah. and are you integrated? Can you teach everything or just history or can you do everything? Um, it'll be every, yeah, everything. Like yeah. History. Yeah. 
There are some people at my school where I teach that they can only teach history. Oh, really? They had like this horrible licensure system back in the day where they could only do history, but like I can Mm do, I can do everything. I've done everything, economics, uh, sociology, psychology, government. I can do, yeah, anything. Now I'm teaching eighth grade history, current issues, academic (laughs) coaching, you name a class, I've taught it probably. Um, (laughs) But it's good, you know, it's, it's real competitive, but yeah, you being able to coach and the things that you've done as far as like what a student athlete does, and you did it at the highest 10% in division mm-hmm. one, right? Mm-hmm. And your time management skills are off the chart. Um, right. And you know what I mean? There's just a lot of things you can do. You have an advantage over most candidates to, to be right, for sure. 100% for sure. honest with you. So um, I guess last thing, you know, what's the next month hold? You know, obviously we don't even know what the next two mm-hmm. weeks is, right? We don't, we don't even know till April 3rd because that's when the ban is till – um, what OU's done, right? They're, they're not having classes back. Yeah, they're, they're transferring, um, online classes are normal and then they're trying to figure out how to make, um, the rest of everybody else's classes or the in face-to-face classes online. Okay. Basically. Okay. Um, Do you head back to Athens or stay in Uniontown or? Um, I really don't have a huge plan, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I kind of love it because it's. I think everybody's in your boat, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know? it's just, for right now, it's just uh, taking care, once taking care of, I'm in a few online classes, taking care of those and figuring out that and hopefully soon getting some word on what, um, what they're doing with all the... Uh, field experience type stuff and then go from there, I guess. Oh man. I'm just, I just, I hope that the student teaching works out for you and I yeah. hope that we get this figured out. And then the next thing I'm worried about is, you know, next, next October, November, you know, when it becomes flu season again, <laughs> right. if it comes back around. Cause I think the big thing we got working on our side, the side is springs coming <clears throat> and, and, and that's usually when these seasons break, but yeah. coronavirus is obviously uh, different than mm-hmm. flu season. Um, and as we're finding out, but it sounds like China has a handle on it right now. So yeah. They built like two hospitals in like a week. Did you know that? They built I two coronavirus hospitals in a week. It's That's a different awesome. deal over there, man. So, all right, listen, you got anything else for me? Shoot, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm just glad that you took the time to talk to us and yeah, it's no problem. sit down. And I, I know this is hard right now, man, and you're still yeah. processing. You know, this is it's Saturday now and they made the announcement Thursday. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then yeah. think, think about this, your state tournament guys, which you got to win a state title. Mm-hmm. There's seniors right now who are really good in Ohio yeah. who never got, they've never got that opportunity yeah. and they're probably not going to get it. Yeah. That's what, it, yeah, I, I can't imagine. There's a guy I, from I mean, Brexville who's a top 10 guy in the country. Carmody, Jimmy Carmody, mm-hmm. really good. That guy's not going to get a chance to win a, uh, State title, another Brexville guy, Ethan Hatcher, really good. Mm-hmm. Not gonna win, you know what I mean? Like uh, yes. Snodgrass, another top ten guy, 170 pounds, going to Northern Iowa. You know what I mean? He's not gonna get yeah. a chance to win a state title. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. And they found out the day before. Think about this: if you yeah, been out in I, Minneapolis and they'd have found out. Well, that's what happened to uh, the D D two and D three. D three was yeah, about uh, to blow a whistle. Uh, a lake. Uh, a late grad from a few, few years before me, Chad Rhodes, who uh, he went to Mountain Union. He's coaching at John Carroll, I believe. And they were um, there. They were there. And, uh, like, we were, we, uh, I had a friend that had been talking to him, and they couldn't even t- fly back. They had to, like, rent, a, rent cars or rent a bus or whatever and drive back. So it was a travel ban? Were, like, they weren't, the flights weren't going? Like, the, well, I don't think the flights weren't going. I didn't think the university told them they couldn't fly back. Like, they needed to drive or something like that. It's insane. They were in like Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Well, one was in yeah. Iowa. The other one was in South Dakota. Yeah. They weren't close. Yeah. They weren't close. Like you guys were in Pittsburgh last year. That's not bad. Yeah. You couldn't even fly right. from Pittsburgh to Athens. <laughs> I don't think it's an option. No, it's not. Well, hey, stick it on a little bit here. I'm going to I'm gonna cut the, the live here and uh, talk yep. to you a little bit afterwards. But thank you for the time so much, man. I, I really appreciate it. And Good luck moving forward, man. I know it's a lot to process, but there's a lot, there's hundreds of other guys in your boat, and, and right. you know, like a lot of people say, the sun will come up. Tim Flynn said it best. The sun came up yeah. the next day, and it did. So yeah. keep grinding, buddy, and uh, hang around here a little bit afterwards. I'm going to cut this off real quick, and we'll talk, all right? Got you. I appreciate it. Thanks for the yeah, time. Yeah, thanks, man.